Okay. Okay, um... Right. Make sure... Just gonna be just play it safe a little bit and just try to make sure it doesn't crash. But I don't know, for some reason, Genshin has been dead. Or something has been. Something is just. Something is amiss. Anyway, so I'm just gonna be going through this for a little bit, so uh, don't mind me. Try a try a different set. <clears throat>
You are not Allow me. here. Here comes the catch. Gotcha.
quietly now. Help! Make yourselves at home! This dance is for you! With all my strength! I got it! Now you're testing my strength! I see everything! Gotcha! Stop fighting! I... There was just a dialogue box like like my right click menu was over the Okay, yeah, no. okay. I guess we'll take care. But I'm gonna be using the team like how did I how did I survive that? Trying out this. That looks good. Like yeah, that yeah, that looks good. Like yeah, I promise there's a, there's a few characters that I use the default wings on. Yeah, I just I literally just I think I literally did this yesterday. Yeah, I, I actually did. Akashi Tsukiyomi, thank you. 
Sugiyomi. Sure. I really appreciate it. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. Yeah. We like, like, like we play Genshin here sometimes. And yeah, it's fun. Don't mind, don't mind the, the rolling wind, like, wind Tanuki, the rolling animo Tanuki just, like, rolling on by. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, been through this bunch. rose, which is not actually a rose, but all a rose for some reason. I mean, it's like naming it an orange and apple. Or naming a hamburger, or a hamburger without ham. Wait. Uh, yeah. So I think you want hydro. Or nope. Oh, okay, we're just okay. You just wanted, you just wanted someone to talk to. You. That's cool. I feel like I've done- I already completed this cycle. Like that quest cycle a bunch. Ready. I probably like actually do like actually finish up the other nations. Like I think I have a few achievos. I still haven't completed it. Like in Monstat. Add Astra Abyssos. Huh? No, 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 no. I did not mean to click that, but although that is a nice zoom out. Add Astra. Thank you for comp- At some point I'm not- like, I'm gonna end up- end up completing- like, completing this and won't ever have to see that zoom out in the other nations. A little sad. So, at this rate, we're probably gonna- At the rate I'm going, it's probably gonna be another, uh... Bunch. A while before that happens. So, uh, uh, meanwhile, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Right. 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 Okay, um, I think I've already done. Okay, yeah. Quest. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, let's, let's continue the. You know this quest? Like the side quest. I do like these little these little events, even though I do wish they were permanent. But then, but then there would probably be a lot like 
<laughs> so much. Like, like so much to account for. Like, like it, I don't know. It, it, it's nice, but also. Hey, you guys finally made it. Yeah. I was searching for hours. Still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. Okay. Uh, did you find out they were just kids yet? How about you? Find anything? Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, we never found, found those three either. Hmm, I we see. Just... So you came up empty-handed too. Yeah, we just played Breakout for a bunch, and uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. Oh, really? Huh? What plan? Do I want to know what this plan is? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes, uh, something by night? The hunter by day becomes the hunted by night. E yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. <laughs> anyway, okay, I was so sorry. focused on scaring people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not uh -huh. this time. Oh no, I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge first, and then I'll nail him with a surprise attack. Okay. You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest, got it? Okay, okay. see you later. Uh, um, bro? Uh, yeah, about that, um... Wait, Ito! Uh... Uh, he ran off again. That well, might not end well. his plan does make some sense, at least. Uh, <sighs> let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, hopefully he doesn't cause much trouble. Hopefully. Right? Right? I'm sure he's sure he'll be I'm sure he'll be fine. Whoa! Congratulations on winning the first round of the test of courage! Now you're Wait. one step closer oh. to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. Really? Good to hear. <laughs> Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. <laughs> now you're just no, getting out of that's the, not what plan means. Out of Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event. Yeah, a giant breakout. So floor. what? You've heard the stories about the test of courage, haven't you? Yeah. Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. People are uh, afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them. And yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. So, isn't it natural for us to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, that one. Really? <laughs> I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. Yeah. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the test of courage will begin shortly. Have you found your partner yet? Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. Right. So, so... it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. Oh, really? If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows! If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. Right, right. Oh, let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. So many choices. But, I mean, I mean, come on. If you know me, then you know what, then you already know who I'm going to You found me. Hey, Sayu. Are you here for the test of courage, too? Yes. <sighs> she looks like she just woke up. Oh, nope, wait. She's actually trying to fall asleep. But yeah, um, for those who don't know, 
Sayo is actually my favorite Genshin character. Yeah, it's kind of no contest. Like, I love everyone else, but... The test of courage is too scary, so I keep my eyes closed to not feel scared. But as soon as I close my eyes, it's really easy to fall asleep. Oh. We're trying to fall asleep? During the first round, a big bull-headed beast leaped out of nowhere and scared me half to death. So I ran and hid behind a tree. Oh, that was I closed my eyes and tried to hide for a while, but it was really dark and I fell asleep. By the time I woke up, the round was already over. A big bull-headed beast? Oh, wait, that sounds like Ushi. Yeah, that's Ushi. Now, right. no one wants to partner up with me for the second round. Oh, oh poor Sayu. Uh, wait. But why would you join the test of courage in the first place? Oh, because I heard that being frightened causes you to grow taller. Uh... What kind of silly idea is that? That's just a load of baloney. Did Nico tell I wasn't you that? sure if it was true either. But since I heard it could help people grow taller, I decided to give it a shot. I'm guessing Yai Miko well, told you. Well, Sayu doesn't have a partner yet. Should we team up with her? Yeah, come on. Let's... Come on, let's go, Sai. Really? You're willing to be my partner? Of course. Great. But please keep an eye on me and don't let me fall asleep again. Promise. It's pretty scary here, but I'm going to face my fears this time. Alrighty then. You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though, whether winning should be considered good luck or not, is debatable. <laughs> anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the Test of Courage. Oh? It's... a fan. What kind of fan? A fan? Paper fan? You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Or a fan? Correct! Oh, that. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself, and has been placed somewhere in the Chinju Forest. I see. There will be signs to guide the way, but beware. The darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer! <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. Uh, we'll never give me. up! Is that a threat? Kind of like a threat. Oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, let's go! To adventure! Something just fell from above! Oh. I'm out of here! You who aren't! Uh, uh, wait, Sayo? We should get out of here too! Oh, but these are only cows, so I want to, like, I can't, I can't, I pick them up, I need them! I need those! I need them! Okay, okay, okay. Um, I should follow the signs. Okay, um, this way. Aren't it's they... so dark here. It's hard to make out anything. Uh, why are the. It's so dim. That Paimon almost looks like a flying lavender melon. Wait, what? Hey! What? Hyman's over here! Uh, oh. It's a lavender melon ghost! Uh, is that a thing? That's not a thing, is it? Uh, uh. I usually like to hide here and take a nap. Oh. Don't worry, there doesn't appear to be anything scary here. Thank goodness. We finally made it to a safe spot. Uh, did those things just move? Uh, saw you? Was that statue always facing this way? And why does Paimon have a feeling that it's staring right at us? What? That can't be right. This is supposed to be a safe place. Uh, we have to hightail it out of here. You who aren't, let's go! Okay. Uh 
Well, it was a safe place to hide or to, to take a nap. Um, why is there lavender melons? What happens if I go off court? Hey, the sign is pointing this way. Please come back. Oh. Oh. We've been running for so long that Paimon's starting to get thirsty. Oh, look! There's a stall set up! Let's go buy something to drink! Uh, Good idea! Those are... Hello? Anyone here? Strange. There's nobody around. Free floating food. Uh, I don't know. This stall looks kind of spooky. Looks uh, fine. You're right. It's starting to creep my mind out. Let's just get out of here. Uh huh. It's a dead end. Oh. Ugh. Where did they hide that van? Oh, back. All right, back to Lily Kane. I hope we don't accidentally they go the right way. There sure are a lot of lanterns here. Are they supposed to guide us? I heard there are lanterns that release a chilly breeze to guide spirits to be reincarnated. Ah! Don't fan. scare Paimon! Do... Do we keep going? That's a fan. This is getting pretty creepy. Pretty sure that's a fan. Oh, Paimon can't take it anymore! You go first! Okay. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that's the fan that we were thought was more. I really want to see what everything there, like everything is. Like, I mean, I want to, I want to admire the, admire the handiwork of the design. No. Hmm. This isn't what we're looking for. Oh, and Paimon thought we had it too. Just it's a paper. Huh. Hey, the sign is pointing this way. Please come back. Chattering Paimon, you must be really scared. I, I understand. I'm scared too. Kitty! What? Kitty, Paimon's teeth aren't chattering. But I heard a rattling sound. Was that not you? It's definitely not Paimon. Wait, it seems to be coming from inside the shrine! There's something over there! Huh. This doesn't seem to be the right way. Let's try another path. I feel blessed that we came. I am happy that we came. Get the little kitty. Get the cute little kitty. I, I, I remember last time, like I found a staff, I found a staffer somewhere. Hey, like, the sign like is a, pointing a this staff. way. Please come back. Like a member of the staff just hiding somewhere and be like, oh shoot, I'll oh, dock my pay if they if they find me, if they if they know about this, please don't tell. Oh frick! 
Uh. Um. Whoops. The so just ran all the way back. Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. You appear to have found a part, though. Whether anyway, it's a fan. Correct. There okay, will be okay. sign. <laughs> we'll never get. Okay. I guess this is this is like one of the first times they actually have like like one or like like it's not often that you get to see a character like or be another playable character just follow you around actually in this. Something just fell from above. I'm out of here. You who aren't. She's gone! We should get out of here too! It does run, run back. I feel like there should be. It's so dark here. It's hard to make out anything. It's so dim, that Paimon almost looks like a flying lavender melon. Hey! That's not Paimon! It doesn't look anything like me! Paimon's over here! Uh, it's a lavender melon ghost! I usually like to hide here and take a nap. Don't worry, there doesn't appear to be anything scary here. Oh, thank goodness. We finally made it to a safe spot. Uh, saw you? Was that statue always facing this way? And why does Paimon have a feeling that it's staring right at us? What? That can't be right. This is supposed to be a safe place. Oh, uh, we have to hightail it out of here. You who aren't, let's go! There sure are a lot of lanterns here. Are they supposed to guide us? Hold my hand. I heard there are lanterns that release a chilly breeze to guide spirits to be reincarnated. Oh. Ah! Don't scare Paimon! Do... Do we keep going? This is getting pretty creepy. Oh, Paimon can't take it anymore! You go first! Oh, you guys just hold my hand. Hey, the sign is pointing this way. Please come back. Phew. This place should be safe. I can't believe I made it this far. Hey, did I get any taller? Oh, and why can't you just humor her a little, traveler? Really? <laughs> That's great. Oh, but at least she's happy. That. Look, isn't this the fan we're looking for? It has fireworks painted on it, so it must be for some kind of festival. Yeah. So does that mean the second round of the Test of Courage is over now? Yep. Yep, yes, no. seems like it. Ha-ha! <laughs> We've won again! Yeah. Great. <sighs> because <sighs> I was just starting to feel sleepy. Uh. Hmm. I wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh, why don't we have a look around? In that case, I'll take the fan back with me and have a little nap. Just don't stay out here too long. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> I've got you now! What? Uh, just run! Don't worry about me! Don't underestimate this, Oni. None of you are getting away today. Hey, it's Ito. It looks like he captured those three we were looking for. Let's go see. Huh. It was actually, he actually did something. He managed to do something. That's actually impressive. Wow, Ito, you really captured them. Yeah, he captured them. Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you. Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. 
Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? <laughs> uh, and Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm, I have a already. weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. <sighs> oh, I know! These are all creatures from the Ultimate Yokai Field Guide that Granny used to show me! Seriously? There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo! They're all Yokai! Seriously? S seriously, bro? It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away! You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pfft, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you, following her around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. Aha! So it was you three. No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to, uh... Scare everyone? Um, uh... Really? You're not mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, it doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. Yeah. Um, well, the truth is... We were planning a festival, one hosted by the yokai, but humans are also welcome to attend. Wait, they're not the little kids from the, from the town? Ah, the festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right, it used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, but still. Yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But... We're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Or... Mm -hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. Oh. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters. Allowing us to live in peace. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but, uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to you. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. Wow. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. After that, we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. Is the Akitsu Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimo would have taken the Traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before. So we had no idea what you would like. Oh. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, I know the one. Really? It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. Uh-huh. Okay. It's said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ah, uh, what a pain. Oh, what? Oh. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? Oh, pretty. When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Really oh. pretty. Ah. This is our festival. And the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> 
The speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ha! Then join us! We can enjoy tonight's festivities together! <laughs> <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me! Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hm. I look forward to it. Every ten years? Jeez. The Kawa Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend, and Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of friendship. That's why, when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant, so we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. You heard that someone had been trapped in the... Yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. We closed Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm... They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. Oh, I had to. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. It wasn't long before large numbers of people began coming to the Chinju Forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. It was wonderful. A human man with blue hair? Yeah, it must have been Ayato. Now that you mention it, the fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? Or maybe he's here to catch Oni Kabuto. Ha! Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him. Uh -huh, yeah. Wow! Ito's still clueless about who Ayato really is. Yep. Uh, it's all right. No need to tell him for now. Well, anyway, seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts. Huh. What a relief. And now that we know what's happening, the test of courage doesn't seem that scary after all. Yeah. Hey, you want to hang out with humans, right? I totally get that. I mean... After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. So why don't you let this Oni do you a favor, hmm? See, I'm a yokai too, right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. I... I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. Uh, okay. I, I mean, you know what? Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. Yeah, sure. The yokai said they wanted to host a festival, but Paimon was too busy having the bejeebers scared out of her to pay any attention until now. Come to think of it, Paimon remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. Maybe we can help out. Yeah, let's go. Oh, are we just getting teleported there? Or, nope, okay, I guess I just need to load. Huh. I, I really thought it was just gonna be it was just gonna be kids that were just playing a joke on like on Ito. Make my escape. Uh wait. Wait. Oh, Wait! Her. You're the strange lady we met before! Oh yeah, the, the lady with the eye patch. Oh, it's you two again. Hi. I have to say, I'm impressed by your willingness to approach me after last time. You're much braver than I thought. 
But I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I'll... Huh? Uh, you kidding? Hmm. Nice try, but you don't scare us anymore. We just met your fellow yokai, and they told us everything. Huh? Fellow yokai? That's right. You're another little yokai who lives in the wilderness, aren't you? We just met Yoko, yeah. Kappa, and Hitotsume uh, Kozo. Maybe we should... So which this? type of yokai are you, hmm? Oh, let Paimon guess! Uh... Hmm... Actually, Paimon has no idea what you are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? <laughs> Akitsu Yugen? Again, that game. How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time, and I could... Are you okay there? Huh? Are you? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Can you just sit down? Oh, and maybe you're more? hungry. Or yeah. maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. Yeah, maybe... You... Don't worry. Ito has already taken your fellow yokai to meet some new friends. Everyone will get along just fine. Yeah, so uh, there's no need to worry. Yeah. Come on, let's go play a Kitsu Yugen. We'll see who can finish the game the uh, quickest. The loser will have to grant the winner a wish. Uh, oh, it's starting. Get ready. What? Okay. I, are we just... All right. All right. Alright, well... Get more balls. Literally break out. Ah. Okay, okay. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Amazing! You cleared all the elemental cubes so quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Paimon thinks we got this in the bag. All right, it's your turn. Okay. Watch and learn. What? Okay. Ah! Huh? No way. She hit every cube in one shot and finished even faster than you, Traveler. How did you do that? Oh, Paimon's head is spinning after watching that. Did you see <laughs> how she did it? Uh... Uh, yeah, I would. Even if the rules have changed a little, I would never lose to amateurs like you. Uh, oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the ones who created Akitsu Yugen. No wonder you're so good. Anyway, anyway. we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. Uh, uh, why, why, but before uh, you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. Okay. A wish, huh? Then I wish for your souls that we never cross paths again. Wow, rude. Wait, what? But what? didn't we just have a great time together? That's precisely why. Oh. Don't ever come near me 
or speak to me again. Oh. Surely that's a wish you can fulfill, right? Um... This I... is my final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will... I'll steal your souls! Oh, no. Scared now? Good! Then don't come here again! Uh... Uh... Fireman doesn't get it. Did we do something wrong? I think... Everyone, sometimes people feel left alone, I guess. Oh, fair enough. But... Paimon had a lot of fun playing Akitsu Yugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's go see how Ito's doing. Yeah. How much do you want to bet that he's... That he's screwing up something? She hasn't confirmed that she's a yokai, but she also hasn't denied it, so... So! You must be Hitatsume Kozo! Uh, yeah uh, hi <laughs> No need to be nervous! <laughs> I'm Yui Mia, and I run Naganohara Fireworks! Oh! I once saw some Naganohara Fireworks! Even though I was watching from a distance, they were still so beautiful! Bursting across the sky! Really? Uh... Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks for us to launch together. It'll be fun. Whoa, really? Thank you very much. And if I may ask, are you Lord Kaedehara Kazuha? Lord? Yes, that's me. But I'm afraid that I'm no lord, just a wandering samurai. Oh. I've seen you with your sword in the wilderness. You made quick work of many opponents with your amazing swordsmanship. Ah... Uh... That must have been when I was trying to escape Inazuma. It wasn't as impressive as you make it seem. I had to face many trying situations before I was able to leave the islands. The head of the Kamisato clan also lent me his assistance at the time. By the way, this is his sister. Oh, oh hi. so y you must be the one and only Shirasagi Himegimi. What an honor. There's no need to be so formal. I never imagined I'd ever meet someone as distinguished as you. I must be dreaming. Aww. Hey, don't you want to go talk to them too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather shy. Really? Well, that's strange. You seemed completely fine when we were chatting. Aww. I'm not sure why, but I feel so relaxed Aww. when talking with you, General Goro. Actually, I'm the most timid of the three of us. I hid for days the last time someone tossed a stone into the river. <laughs> ah, sorry for rambling on. It's odd. I'm not normally like this. Oh, no. Same. Uh, it's okay. You can't excel at everything. The important thing is to have the courage to change. Hey there. <laughs> Chatting away, I see. Oh, Mind hi. if I join you? I've never seen a kappa before. Huh? Uh, hello there. Thank you for bringing so many amazing people to meet us, Ito. Ah! <laughs> it's nothing. Being the one and only means being the best, you know? Far the best. Oh, I should mention that, uh, I even have my own gang, and every member has a special title. Classic Ito! There you go, bragging about yourself, again! Advertising. Don't confuse them. Everyone's here for the test of courage, not because you brought them here. Half the people here don't even know who you are. Hey, this is my moment, Paimon. Don't ruin it for me. Advertising, man. <laughs> Ito really isn't as cool as he claims to be. When it comes bubbles. to having connections in Inazuma, nobody can beat Paimon and the Traveler! Yeah. Oh, yeah? Alright, well then let's have a little contest and see who knows the most people. Oh. Sure! Bring wow. it on, Bullchecker Beetle Boy! 
What? Um, uh, please don't fight. Uh, Actually, I think you're both really amazing. Uh, we're not fighting, really. And you also have a great friendship, uh, just like Lord Kamai and the Samurai. Yeah, never forget that. <laughs> well, of course. Boss! Yo, yo. Oh, get to the boys! Get the boys. Ah, darn it. I was so caught up with the yokai that I forgot I was supposed to scare the daylights out of the gang. <laughs> Boss! <clears throat> uh, hey, fellas. Look, I can explain. I... Boss! Boss we're, we're sorry! sorry. What? <laughs> Wait, what now? We shouldn't have ever doubted you, Boss. You were right! Yeah, the test of courage is terrifying! There are definitely ghosts here! I still get shivers just thinking about it, but the thrill was kind of fun. <laughs> huh. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I told you it would be an exhilarating experience, but no, none of you believed me. Anyway, no need to be too scared now. Let me tell you what's happening here. It turns out there aren't any ghosts here. All the scary stuff you saw was just a little misunderstanding we had with the yokai. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, but I've never seen these three before. Oh. I'm not sure where you've been or what you've seen, but I don't think it had anything to do with us. Oh, frick. Huh? Eh. Huh? Eh? Eh? Wait. Hold on, little Yoko. You're kidding, right? <laughs> you know, now's not really the time for that. No, I'm serious. I really don't know what's going on. Uh... But if it wasn't you guys, does that mean there are real ghosts out here? I mean, he did meet some lady who was all dressed up. Oh, loud. that's right. Paimon assumed she was a yokai too. And we even played a Kitsu Yukin with her. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure who it was you met, but we're the only three yokai who wanted to hold a festival here. Uh, so she was a ghost? Paimon, Paimon. Uh, boss, save us! us! Oh. Calm down. Everyone, just, just calm down now. What's all the noise about? Uh, hey. Oh, you're the Tenryo Commission's... Hey, though! Yeah, hey, hey, uh... There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, only your noise would drive it away. Really, would it? Ito, you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Huh? Traveler, Paimon, please, come with me. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, so, oh. Paimon somehow feels a little better now that Hazo's here. If you're, we're in trouble, um, it wasn't me. It, it wasn't me, Ombre. Don't freak out, boys. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. You're, you're the, the best, best boss! <laughs> uh... Recite this to yourself. Keep your mind clear and at peace. Free your thoughts from spirits and ghosts. Those were Her Excellency's remarks in the directive. She once said, there is nothing to be afraid of as long as your conscience is clear. Oh, if only Her Excellency were here. She would get to the bottom of all this in no time. But it didn't... Oh. Could the rumors be true then? Do strange phenomena really happen every time the test of courage is held? Please be careful. Make my escape. I believe my lord had foreseen this situation. He has my absolute trust. But given Lady Ayaka is still here, we must get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. So, is there really a ghost around here? 
I'm gonna go look for it. I've never seen a ghost before. Oh, how exciting! Oh, I love her. <laughs> you know, I actually kind of, I almost want to, I almost kind of wish I, I, I picked Yoimiya for that last round because I almost want to believe that she'd be like all laughing and be like, <laughs> "Oh, this is funny." <laughs> Hilarious. This is one of my usual hiding spots. It's always safe here. Is it? Let me show you a trick. Just cover your eyes and the scary things will go away. Uh... Um... Oh, you <laughs> sweet child. I think I've already met up with everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I kind of wonder if. I kind of wonder if there's anything. Get out of here! Is, like, I'm just gonna head, head back and just see if there's any. Make my escape! I doubt they're gonna, they would add just, they would add random dialogue. Like, add random bits of dialogue. Like, just all the way out here, right? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think so. The Shrine Maiden appears to be urging us to finish the third round of the Test of Courage. But where did she go? <gasps> Has she been taken away by a ghost? Buried away. Will Paima be next? <gasps> Paima will never leave your side now! Okay, you never have left my side, so, um... The <laughs> words are scribbled hastily, but there's no evidence of a struggle. However, aren't there too many words written here? What do you mean? What did you notice, Detective Hazel? I believe that the three items chosen for this three-round contest were each selected by the three organizing parties. Right. The Dongo Milk was chosen by the merchant who funded the event. Right. And the fan was chosen by the Yashiro Commission, which provided the staff. So, does the Hagoita, which should have been chosen by the Grand Narukami Shrine, have any unique significance? Later. The bigger question uh, is, are we really going to join the third round of the Test of Courage? Paima would love to win the grand prize, but our safety comes first! Why? How about we... make a tactical retreat? Uh, come on, Paimon. I still have my commission to complete, so I'll stay. Fear arises from mystery, and it's a detective's job to unearth the truth from the mystery. <sighs> Paimon somehow feels a little better after hearing you say that. Okay then, let's wait for a while. Maybe the Shrine Maiden had something to take care of and we'll be back soon. Yeah, how's that deeper? Well, that's part two done. And you know what? I might as well finish up the storyline because... Might as well finish finish up the storyline. And yeah, yeah, currents of life. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. Okay, so following it. Traveler, Paimon, please let me be your partner for the final round of the Test of Courage. Uh, okay. I'd like your assistance with this investigation, since you two are the only ones who have seen the alleged ghost. I That's see. fine with Paimon. What do you think, Traveler? Not by me. Any ideas so far, bro? I have a few theories, but we don't have enough leads yet. There are some places I'd like to investigate first, so you two can accompany me. Okay. Sure. Where would you like to start? I want to go back to where we first met up. According to your accounts, you encountered the ghost there and passed out. I believe there may still be some clues there. Uh, do we really have to go there? What if we're walking into a trap? Are you worried that she'll be waiting for us? If anything, that would make things easier. My worry is that we won't be able to find her. Honestly, it'd save me a lot of trouble if she were to show up on her own. Wow, Hazel! You're fearless! The more cases you see, the less afraid you become. Let's go. Yeah, that makes sense. Having for better and for worse. This should be approximately where you first encountered the ghost. Of course, we cannot conclude whether the woman is actually a ghost or not at this point, but I'd like to go over everything that happened again. Do you recall anything she said at the time? Hmm. What Paimon think? Stay away from She the warned us not to go near her, and she said if we didn't leave, our souls would become trapped here. doesn't want to remember that moment. Paimon shivering just thinking about it. And then what happened? Then, everything seemed to get darker, and Paimon started to feel dizzy. There were ghostly flames flickering all around, and... Paimon saw some sort of black mist surrounding the ghost, and then... Paimon passed out. Hmm. Based on your account, it does really seem like you've seen a ghost. Exactly! So are you convinced it was a ghost now? Nope. It's possible, but I'm more interested in what she's actually trying to achieve than what she is. Even if she is a ghost, as long as she possesses some sense of reason, then there must be some purpose behind her actions. Wasn't she after our souls? She said that herself. I think she was just trying to scare you. Oh, you think so? Think about it. If I had the ability to take your souls, then why go to the trouble of warning you over and over again? Besides, a ghost wouldn't have allowed you to walk away knowing about the secret of its powers. Hmm, that does make sense. Huh, why didn't Paimon think of that? As you're always too scared to think straight. I believe there are only two possibilities. The first is that she wanted to reap your souls, but there was some condition that had to be met. You know, like what we usually call a curse. But if you had really been cursed, then you would probably have noticed it by now. So, this is the less likely scenario. I believe she was just trying to scare you away. But why would she want to scare us away? Hmm. Oh, Paimon knows! Do you? Maybe she was trying to get us to quit so she could claim the test of courage prizes. Is she registered as a contestant? Oh, hmm, probably not. So why does she want to scare us? Do you have any ideas, Hazel? Based solely on your account, I don't believe she actually meant any harm. She just didn't want you to stay here. 
but this evidence alone is insufficient to make any valid assumptions. Right. She could very well be guarding some treasure or covering up a crime. Yeah. Though, my intuition is telling me that neither of these hypotheses are correct. Let's continue investigating the surrounding area. I tell. Okay, so we're gonna look for clues. Footprints visible. Uh, they could, re could they really belong? They seem to belong to Hazel and myself. Woman, you play the ghost. Got any clues? Your branch has been cut. Something hanging. Have you found any leads yet? Some branches seem unusual. Yeah, some tree branches seem like they were bent by something, but that's about it. I see. After you left, I took a good look around the area. Oh. Aside from the bent branches, there are burn marks in some places, but that doesn't really tell us much. Uh -huh. If only there was some more conclusive evidence. Excuse me. Uh... Sorry to interrupt. Oh, hi. Oh, it's you guys! What are you all doing here? Oh. We heard you were out searching for clues, and we wanted to help. Oh, that's really brave of you. Uh, actually, we're also really unsure about what's happening here. Makes sense. We just asked the members of Mr. Ito's gang about what happened to them, and it sounded really scary. That lady is either a nasty evil spirit or a formidable yokai. Either way, it's not good. B -b but we still want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival. Uh huh. We long admired the friendship between Lord Kamai and the samurai, which is why we want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival to return the favor we once received from the humans. Even though our powers are limited, we don't want this bond of friendship to vanish. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to be enjoyable for everyone. The Chinju Forest covers a large area, so it'd be great to have more help in the investigation. Welcome to the team. Let's all do our best to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Don't worry, we're very familiar with the area. We won't miss any clues. Right. Right, so the little yoke guy. Uh, right. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Uh. Look what I found down by the river. Huh? Huh? What is it? Is it a scrap of black cloth? Hmm, I've never seen fabric like this before. Uh, is it lady? <gasps> this is a piece of shade cloth. Shade cloth? Yeah, it can effectively block out light and is used in a variety of settings, including stage performances. Uh -huh. There's a rough tear in the cloth, probably caused by a sharp stone, or maybe some branches. Really? Branches? Hmm. Suppose that a large shade cloth was originally hung from a tree, bending the branches. Right. When the shade cloth was removed from the tree, perhaps one of the corners caught and the branches ripped it, causing a small piece of black cloth to fall into the river. Right. Either she didn't care, or she was in too great a hurry. Perhaps she had other things to handle at the time. Oh. But why would she hang shade cloth in the trees? Is that what? I'm only speculating, but... Maybe she used it to create the atmosphere you experienced. Let's not worry about that for now. There are still many variables I haven't deduced yet. Okay. Next, I'd like to investigate the place where the Arataki gang encountered her. Do you know how to get there? Oh, I know the way. I asked the gang members where their encounter with the ghost happened when we were chatting earlier. I'll take you there. Good. Wait. Please lead the way. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh. All right. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired. This is the place. 
they claimed that as they passed through here, the area suddenly grew dark, and some ghostly flames appeared out of nowhere. Huh. Huh. What a coincidence! We also saw blue we flames. We saw the very same thing! Huh. Let's start by taking a look around the area, just as we did before. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Uh huh. Uh, what? Uh huh. I found some sort of smashed ball under the tree. Ooh. The inside of it looks like it was blackened by smoke, and it smells like fireworks. A smoke ball? Judging from the burn marks left on the scene, the ghostly flames you saw were not created by yokai power. Rather, they appear to have been caused by something flammable. I'm not sure what, though. There's some strange powder in the cracks of these stones. I picked some up and sniffed it to see what it is, and it made me really dizzy. Ugh. I'm so tired now. Uh. Alright, mind? Like, mind palace? Hmm. Similar scare tactics. And she didn't have the time to completely hide the traces. I believe we're closing in on the truth now. I'm almost certain that the woman you encountered was not a ghost. She possesses no extraordinary powers. She was merely scaring people with some small props she had set up ahead of time. Right. Some small props? Like, can you really do all that with just some props? What we saw was absolutely terrifying. Yeah. First and foremost, the test of courage contributed to the unsettling atmosphere here. You were initially frightened by your first encounter with these three yokai, and then shortly after, you ran into the mysterious woman. It was natural for you to be on edge. Because you were already tensed up, you were breathing more rapidly and inhaled a lot of sleeping powder that she had sprinkled around the area. Uh -huh. That is what caused you to feel dizzy. That's when she pulled down the shade cloth and lit those so-called ghostly flames, creating a terrifying scene. That's the most likely explanation, anyway. Uh -huh. So, it was all just a show? Uh, she tricked us! There is, however, still one loose end. The person who commissioned my investigation did become stranded on the beach as a result of some unusual power. Okay, yeah. That, that couldn't have been accomplished by just a few small props. But if she possesses such powers, why bother with the theatrics? can't wrap her head around all this. Hmm. She can only use props to scare people in the forest, but she can use strange powers on the beach. Huh. I see. I think I've figured it out. Really? Whoa, that was fast. If we rule out the potential of organized crime, then only one possibility remains. Oh? I know who the woman is. Let's go to the beach. Uh, okay. Right, we'll then. come along, too. But... Dangerous? No. You should go back and tell the others not to be afraid, and not waste their time searching the forest. The truth has surfaced. It's time to put an end to all the unnecessary panic, and await the outcome of the test of courage. Okay, but please be careful. Right, then. If you run into any danger, simply call out our names. We'll be able to hear you. There shouldn't be any danger now. But thank you anyway. Let's go. Uh -huh. All right then. Let's search along the cliffs, son. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a chunk of earth that's unlike the others. Things aren't unusual. Uh, what? 
What the frick is up with all these different, all these lanterns? I knew it. I knew that you would come find me here. Oh, hi. There she is. There, I Hyman found thought you were a yokai like the others, but they said they'd never seen you before. So, who are you? And why did you try to scare us? <sighs> I have already warned you never to speak to me. If you don't leave now, then... Um... She's terrifying! Hey, so it sure doesn't seem like she's using any props this time! Don't move. Just trust me. Your yokai power won't scare us. It will only hasten your demise. Yokai power? Huh? Huh? How did you know? You're a yokai that emerged from an object and assumed a human form outside of your own body. When this type of yokai is close to its own body, it can use some yokai power, but that ability weakens as it moves further away. And if the original body is destroyed, then the yokai that originated from it will likewise perish. Should I refer to you as a Hogoita spirit or Tsukumogami? Don't bother. You may call me Hanyuda Chizuru. That is the name I go by now. Chizuru? Why do you want us to leave? If you're a yokai, you should understand why the other yokai want to interact with humans. Besides, we had a great time playing Akitsu Yugen together, didn't we? Uh. Just like the story of Kamai and the samurai. Uh. Yes, that's why. That's why I don't want you to be sad too. Huh? Sad? What do you mean? Sad about what? I'm sure the yokai have already told you of the story about Kamai befriending the samurai. But they don't actually know the entire story. Oh, did it end tragic? The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. They met again 10 years later and remained friends. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But ten years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow march. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger for their next duel. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Oh. Kamai was unconcerned, because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. No. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and scars covering his body. Hey, old friend. Can you still wield the sword? <sighs> I'm getting too old to fight. <sighs> this time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? <sighs> All right. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> what a shame. Their friendship started as something they looked forward to, and in just a few decades it turned into regret. Lord Kamai's appearance hadn't changed, but his dear friend in front of him had grown old. The joys of friendship gradually gave way to the pain of regret. People often say that those outside the situation can see things more clearly, 
And I learned a harsh truth after witnessing all of it. Everything that people come to regret is inevitably set in motion from the beginning. We yokai are different from humans. We have longer lifespans and different natures, but we share the same world. We interact with one another. We are drawn to one another and will eventually part ways. When the dream ends, all that is left are sorrowful memories and lingering pain. Even a wise and seasoned yokai like Kamai felt sadness when it was time to say goodbye. Imagine what a pure and kind little yokai would feel. Oh. So, you mean... I was hiding on this beach, waiting for the last of my days. But those three yokai came and set up the Akitsu Yugen here, which woke me from my slumber. I didn't want them to approach humans with unbridled optimism and enthusiasm just because they'd heard the legend of Kamai and the Samurai. That would simply be repeating the same mistake. Is that why you pretended to be a ghost? To scare all the people away from here? Oh, so you must be the one who trapped that guy on the beach. That was a little bit harsh, don't you think? My power has become pretty weak now, and most of the time I just use some props I've collected to scare people. I can't show myself when there are a lot of people around. But that jerk was greedy. He wanted to steal the decorations from Akitsu Yugen and sell them for a profit. What? That's why I used my yokai power. To teach him a lesson. What? Ah, <laughs> so that's what happened. You have a strong sense of justice. I see. By the way, how did you know the rest of the story about Kamai and the Samurai? Yeah. <sighs> it's okay if you don't want to tell us. I've already figured it out. Your true form is this pair of Hagoita, oh. isn't it? Hagoita? Hagoita? Oh, wait! So that means she's... The pair of Hagoita used by Kamai and the human samurai to play Akitsu Hazura hundreds of years ago. You gradually developed sentience after being influenced by great yokai power. You were the closest to witness their story. Even with the yokai power's blessing, the Hagoita have started to rot away after hundreds of years. You can't sustain yourself, so you were forced to rely on props to scare people. And if my theory is correct, this pair of Hagoita is also the item we need to find for the third round of the Test of Courage. Excellent work. You figured it all out. Yes. Congratulations, little ones. You've passed the third round of the Test of Courage. Hey. Miko? And the Shrine Maiden? Paimon thought you went missing! I apologize for causing you concern. It was actually Lady Yai's idea. Yes. <laughs> well, what did you think? Were you scared? Because fear is induced by uncertainty, the more chaotic the situation, the better. Having the event staff also mysteriously vanish only added to the uncertainty. I must say, I think this test of courage truly lived up to its name. So you're the one responsible for all the scary stuff! Uh. Hitomi, go tell the others that the test of courage has ended and that we have a winner. Okay. Now that I've solved the mystery, I'm going back to meet with my client. The intent to steal is not exactly a serious crime, but it can't go unpunished. Exactly. I'll see you two later. Hi. Here's your bill. Nico, here's your... did you choose the Hagoita for the third round of the Test of Courage because you already knew about Chizuru? Miko, Lady Yai, you're... I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year, and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. That was when I saw you. 
You didn't have a human form at the time, and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's shoulder. I went for a stroll on the beach some time ago and sensed a familiar yokai power. Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. But after they said their final goodbyes, I could often hear Kamai sighing to himself. I couldn't help but hide, because I blamed myself. When I woke up again, the world had changed. Lady Yae, you are a well-known yokai. You must know many more things than I do. So I have a question for you. People meet, become friends, and then go their separate ways. After such a short time, they leave only regret and sadness in their wake. Is it really worthwhile for us yokai to interact with humans? Why not? Tell me, how did you feel when you played Akitsu Yugen with the Traveler? <laughs> I... felt happy, but... Hmm, but your rationality told you that it was wrong, didn't it? It turns out that there is still another piece to the story of Kamai and the Samurai that you are missing. What do you mean? The Samurai and Kamai never met again. True, but the story doesn't end there. That samurai's name was Yanagibashi Takuto, what? who also happens to be the founder of the Soran Ishin art. It is believed that Takuto developed this style of swordsmanship while dueling with Kamai, who had also befriended the third generation heir of the Soran Ishin art, Tominaga Masanari. 500 years ago, Kamai and Tominaga fought side by side until their final moments and the sword Tominaga wielded was passed down from Yanagibashi. The regret Kamai once felt had finally been resolved. Oh, I never knew. We yokai are not like humans. Humans have too short a lifespan, and the day will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. However, the bond formed by friendship will not be broken, but rather carried on in a new form. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Hey, compadres! Oh. Ito! What are you doing here? <laughs> Hitomi told me everything. And I also heard that you won the last round. Yeah. I even know who the ghost lady is now. Anyway, I had a little discussion with the others, and, uh... Yeah. Hey, you're that fox lady. Why are you here? Ito, focus! <laughs> Please just disregard my presence. Now, tell us what you discussed. Fine. Ah, right. <clears throat> All right, listen up. To yes. celebrate the end of the Test of Courage event, we will be holding the Mikawa Flower Festival. I gave it some real thought and realized that it might be kind of difficult for those little yokai to hold the festival on their own. But with my help, it won't be a problem. That's right. Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the best Mikawa flower festival anyone's ever seen. Okay. <laughs> you go, bro. Hooray for Ito! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh... Can we really trust this guy with the festival? I mean, he had the drum along festival. Hey, what you trying to say? Besides, it won't just be me. Other people will help too. 
Even my bro Ayato is gonna be there. Yeah, it's everyone's be busy fun. getting ready, and the festival will be up and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're the best, Ito. <laughs> Get the, get the new, get the new, get some new fans. <laughs> Love it. And what would a festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look too. Ah, <sighs> it has been some time since I've attended a festival. Fortunately, I brought sake with me. Paimon's gotta admit, Ito does have his moments. A festival, delicious food, count Paimon in! Uh... All right, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. Looks like the festival has started! Let's go check it out! Oh, no! I almost had it! Oh, starting to get the hang of it, huh? Keep trying! Huh? <sighs> I think I need to take a break. Oh, I sure bought a lot of stuff. I'll have to organize it all when I get back. Can't help but buy something when you're at a festival. I want to become a great yokai, like the mighty Urakusai. Then I'll be able to help create a real Mikawa flower festival. actually interacted before. Ito and Goro! What are you two talking about? Yo, oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. But there's already already an ocean here. Fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. Really? Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. I what? That's an unusual problem to have. Indeed. Huh? Oh, hey. A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped you eat it! Huh? You wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did. I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, she's so amazing. She got back to me really quickly, too. Huh, what a coincidence. I do some part-time work there, and I recently received a similar letter. Oh, no! You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No. Could it be? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Could it be? That there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, not on my watch. Uh, hey, you all go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. Uh, what, why was I Just worried? Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish feast. <laughs> Aw, the string snapped. I was so close. Dang. Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Don't worry, let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Hey? Yo, yo, Tsuri! Paimon's seen this game in some light novels before! Do you want to give a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. What? Why? Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paimon will let the Traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since there's three of us. Okay. Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> All right, um... Mmm, this ramen is so good. <laughs> <sighs> Yes, 
It feels like it's been ages since the last time I had some. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious! Oh, it's you. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt, so I don't get to eat them very often. Makes sense. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, now Paimon totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Huh? <laughs> wait, what? Oh, oh wait. Uh, uh, please, no need to bring that up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't worry about it. Phew, I'm stuffed and feeling a little sleepy. Oh, I'm just gonna take a nap. All right, night. By the way, were there any special stalls at yokai festivals in the past? Yes, but... Well, it's a long story. Okay, well, we have, a, we have all night. How about this balloon? Paimon can't believe you couldn't get a single water balloon! You've gotten rusty! Hey, sorry! I haven't Chizuru played this game before! Chizuru managed to finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Koso! Yeah, that, that was nice of you. He looked like he really wanted it. Aww. But Paimon wanted one too. All right, then I'll catch one for you next time. Aww. Hey! Uh, wait, wait, no, you... Uh. Yeah, you have your... Come on now, this is way more expensive than usual. Even if it is a festival, you shouldn't hike up the prices this much. <laughs> hey now, it costs money to run a stall. I need to raise my prices to help cover the expenses, you know? Bakugo, is uh, that you? Fair enough. How about five masks for 30% off? Final offer. All right, all right. Uh, it's so hot. Feels like I'm being roasted here. Don't get too close. It's better to keep a few steps back. I know. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. I want to get as close as I can to enjoy it. There are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. The festival has only just begun. Yeah. I was surprised that you didn't even tell your sister. It seems she was quite frightened, too. It would have been uninteresting had I told her what was going to happen ahead of time. Besides, with her friends by her side, she wouldn't ever be too scared. Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have accumulated lately. You're always so thoughtful. <laughs> Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. Oh, how amusing. Nice to see you've been getting along. <laughs> yes, well done. Hey, you two, stop laughing! It was scary! Yeah. Hmm? Have you finished exploring the festival? Uh, it just seems about. Well then, are you having a good time? Yeah? Yeah, it's great! Mm -hmm. The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively. But even if you could attend the original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now. Because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to her alone. We'll leave you in peace. Uh, what? Oh. Hmm? What did you want to say to us? Uh. Ah, you saw through me again. I can't help but feel you somehow know everything. It's not that I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. Oh, really? <sighs> Traveler, do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Alone on the beach. Saying goodbye is also part of a festival. Hmm, yes. Every celebration must come to an end. I mean... I mean, isn't it... Isn't it great? Like, better to experience it? Never experience it and then regret it? Instead of having to not experience it? I want to become a great yoke, then I'll be able...
Are you enjoying yourself? How about we go eat together? Sure, I'll pop. <sighs> I think I need to take a break. Yeah. Do we... Okay, I'm pretty sure... Okay, I'm pretty sure this won't work. But I am curious. Commit it to memory! Okay, okay, fine. Okay, okay it's only in Sumeru. Everyone hold hands! I mean, which makes sense, just... I feel... Weird. Where did all the fish go? Hey. Don't worry, let's go try another spot. <laughs> Oh, I sure bought a lot of stuff. I'll have to. I have to get organized. That's the game. <sighs> One bowl of ramen shouldn't hurt, right? Work it off, right? <sighs> One bowl of ramen shouldn't hurt, right? All right, here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. So naturally, I enjoyed the lively festival atmosphere. I wanted to go to more festivals become friends with humans, and play Akitsu Yugen with them. But every evening, as night began to set in, I'd recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the Hagoita, and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? As a result, I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. I expected you to flee in terror. But when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around me. I knew you mistook me as one of the yokai, but instead of telling you the truth, I went and played Akitsu Yugen with you. Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself. Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and play Akitsu Yugen with humans. Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left and I didn't want to be alone. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to play with me. When we played Akitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, you never granted my wish. So, can I make another wish? Let me think. I wish for you to remember me. Uh, no. I only have one wish, so I better make it count. Okay. Listen carefully. My wish is... I wish... 
that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy like a festival. What? Get out of the park with these beds. Jeez, how the heck do they keep doing it? I love how they just keep making these. They keep managing to make some of these, make these events re like really, like really interesting stories with this. Yeah, what the heck? Year when the fireworks go off, I say to myself, another year has already passed. As each year passes by, your life gradually approaches its end. Yeah. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I always say, fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. When Ayato approached me about holding the Test of Courage event, it dawned on me that this would be the perfect opportunity to help Chizuru face her problem. Kamai and the Samurai's parting was one of the first things she experienced when she was partially sentient and didn't have her human form yet. This was a very traumatic experience for her, and she could never come to grips with it by reasoning alone. The best option for her was to directly interact with humans, there's no need to feel sad. I believe she was content when she left us. It just... <sighs> I just wish she was able to... Like, be able to stay longer, you know? But... But we have nothing to regret. We did what we could. And we spent as much time as we could with her. When Ayato or Kamai and the Samurais, this was a very tr the best option. I mean, sometimes you just you wish you could spend. I mean, I know the feeling of wanting, of wishing to, wishing to stay. Like, so, did you enjoy the test of courage? I I know the feeling of wishing you that you spent a little bit more time with someone before they passed, or before they moved away, or. Past. It's like it's that it never feels good, and and when they do leave, always there is that part of you that just that wishes they you could have done more, but I mean in the end, I would spend the time you could, and that in itself is a miracle. And worth cherishing. I mean, I'd say, oh, I mean, it's something I'm still struggling with, but don't re but don't regret not spending time, not spending enough time. Rather, cherish the time spent with them. Once I learned of the yokai's intentions to hold a festival, I wanted to spread the word and attract people to their event. However. It occurred to me that doing so might be overly ambitious. If we marketed the Mikawa Flower Festival from the get-go, people would have arrived with insatiably high expectations. That makes sense. 
so I decided on using the Test of Courage's notoriety to attract visitors, and left the rest to the yokai. I had an inkling that their presence would spice up the event. <laughs> uh, always a schemer, aren't you, bruh? After hearing Chizuru describe the original Mikawa Flower Festival, I wanted to arrange another chance to talk with her about it. Yeah, about that. I didn't expect that would be our last conversation. Yeah, I mean, that would be expensive. Taking a break from that is like... Will you have some time in the next few days, Kazuha? Oh? I'd like you to work on a case with me. Oh. oh. Did you run into some trouble? Not exactly. It's just an old case with almost no tangible leads. But I believe your attuned sense of nature might allow us to discover some new clues. Sure. I can stay after the festival and we can go investigate together. Great. Thank you. My pleasure. It's no trouble at all. Yeah, like that, like. Oh, I'm, I would love it if I love it. Like, that you get. Yeah, or be called. Or, I don't know. That's it. How about. Someday. Even though I knew my lord had most likely planned everything before the test of courage even began, I was still caught off guard. But, in retrospect, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm still a little miffed, but I'll, I'll get over it. Always treasure this water balloon. We're always running out of stock. Huh, yeah. It was, uh, heartbreaking to learn of Chizuru's story. To be honest, I experience that same kind of sorrow when I'm on the battlefield. I don't know when I'll lose my comrades, so I try to appreciate every moment. Yeah, you'd know it better than any of us, would you? Yeah, it just... It really does suck. Like, whether it's... Whether people leave by natural causes or... or Tragedy, or just, or even just through drifting apart. It's always, always rough. But yeah, there were, like yes, there's gonna like being depending on the person. Always, I think it was always a little pain involved. I mean. I think it's, I, I think it's still more than, than light and pain because never, to never experience it is experience that kind of connection. Awful. <sighs> Lifespans, partings, it really gets you thinking, doesn't it? But, uh, I got nothing. All I know is I'll never regret meeting you. <laughs> And that's why we love you. <gasps> ah. 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 And I'm gonna. Every time I go up on that rock, I'm gonna be thinking about that scene now. Dang it. <sighs> I've grown taller. <laughs> I'm so tall. Everyone else looks so tiny now. <sighs> and on that note, on that note, um, we finished the story missions. I do believe. And oh, look. oh wow, that's actually a nice little. Yeah. yeah. 
bunch of the arcades are here. I'll, I mean, I'll definitely I'll be doing that bunch of that off screen. Right? I do believe. So, um. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Oh. Um. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Uh. What's gonna be our race this night? Um. Like, we'll go with Ito's words of wisdom there. Like, I never regret meeting you. Ah, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I kept saying it, but so I'll, I'll spare you. Yeah. This was a really good story. Like, holy cow. Like, they've... I don't like. I don't know what's been going on, but the writing on these events have got have improved so much. Like how? Holy moly! Anyway, um, but yeah. Um, thanks everyone for stopping by, and thanks for thanks for everything. <laughs> smash that like button, or else I'm gonna like, or I'll smash the kneecaps. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, that, that that felt that was that felt dicky to say. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And have a good night, God bless, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>